Apple News' Kendall Keyes joins us now. And Kendall, you spoke with his mother today. I spoke to J.C. Phillips over the phone. She lives in Minnesota, and she says her 10-year-old son's father was driving the car. He picked the boy up in Minnesota to bring him back to Milwaukee to celebrate Christmas when the crash happened. My kid not here no more. All I got is memories. J.C. Phillips heartbroken just days before Christmas. I keep looking at these pictures of my son. And somebody took that away from me. She says the father of her 10 year old son, Zapalian Vincent, picked him up from her St. Paul home to bring him back to Milwaukee to celebrate the holiday. For Christmas break, I let him go. But I shouldn't have. I wanted to say no so bad. Her son's car ride ended in tragedy. The Waukesha County Sheriff says a deputy attempted to stop the car for speeding and not having a license plate. Waukesha County Sheriff in pursuit of a silver Jaguar. There is no reason for stop, suspicious behavior. We are westbound on Gulf Road approaching Elmhurst, speed 95. Officials say the car sped away, going so fast that deputies couldn't see the car when it crashed and rolled over. The crash killed Zapolion and his 10-year-old brother. We're blurring his face because we have not spoken to his mother. They are three months apart. They both 10 right now. They both are from the time 11 next year. Philip says the only thing bringing her comfort, that he was with his brother when the crash happened. He loved his brother and they died together. They was holding each other and they died together. They fought the one on them holding each other and they died together. Kendall, we're still waiting to learn why the driver fled, but we do know that he had an um, open warrant for a felony gun charge. All right, Joyce, the sheriff's last update says the 29-year-old man was in the hospital in critical yet stable condition. He could face multiple charges, including fleeing and eluding, causing death, reckless driving, causing death, and that's on top of his felony warrant. Kendall Keys reporting tonight. Kendall, thank you. And to recap, investigators say two 10-year-old brothers died at the scene. A 6-year-old girl is in critical condition after being taken by flight for life. A 14-year-old girl is also critical. The 29-year-old driver is in critical condition but stable. His 29-year-old girlfriend is stable.